Hey, y'all. Happy late Tuesday. I hope everybody's having a great evening. I would say day, but yeah, it's kind of late. We're nearly an hour late today, but all is well. Things didn't go as I planned, but I made it. So, hey, y'all. My hair is a hot mess. The weather has been horrible here, but as long as I'm here with y'all, I'm all good. So what is up? What are you all up to tonight? How has your day been? Let me know. So I'm still working. I'll add, go ahead and add the table, especially since I'm already late. And then let me turn my phone on so I could see who all is here. Is this my vibe? I think so. I hope so. So what's up, y'all? How are you guys today? Let's see who's here. Hey, Dempsey Boo girl. I did not even get to. So part of one of the designs I didn't um, finish, but that's just going to be like an add-on part if you want it or not. And I'm glad that I cut it out because, uh-oh, I do my little scraper because part, there's a few stones that were touching. And so um, I just cut out like a double hole, but it's all good. But hey, Dempsey Boo. Hey, Mayor Bear. Hey, Patrice and Victorious Creations. Hey, y'all. And shout out to all of my members who are here tonight and those who will catch the replay. Hey, y'all. So that's what we have going on today. I'm going to try to be swift today because we have picture day tomorrow and I have a few shirts that I need to get completed for um, picture day tomorrow. So yeah, that's what we got going on. Hey, Miss Sandra. How are you? How's, how are you guys doing? What are you guys working on? Hey, Nicole Reeves. I know my Nomi is here. I think I saw her when I first logged in and it was at the bottom and I scrolled up because I wanted to get some of y'all first. But hey, Nicole Reeves. Hey, Crystal and Creative Kim. Well, Creative Kim said great. <laughs> hey, Patrice. Hey, Gina Goins. But yeah, y'all, so we have two designs that we're working on. I actually have quite a few designs that I need to test out. Um, so we will probably be tested out some designs on Friday because Friday is the 31st. And you guys know what the 31st is. That is going to be the first day of the buy-in. So... I'm going to be um, testing out some more designs because I haven't had time to really test them out. And so I need to I need to get that done. I thought I had I gotta get my other little squeegee so that I can clear out some of these holes. For the most part, they cut out pretty good, but the SS6 always gives me a little bit of trouble. The SS10 is usually fine. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Southern Girl Crafts and Creations. So, yeah, y'all. That's what we got going on today. We're going to do two shirts, two designs. Um, we're going to brush them in. One is SS6 and the other is SS10. But in that design, I also have an SS6 in that design. I just wanted to do two different um, sizes. The only thing is, is that y'all know I am limited in my SS6. 10 stones, but we're going to make something happen. So what are you guys up to? Oh, guys, I will be having another beginner's rhinestone class. It's on my website. I already listed it, and a few people have already signed up. But I already, um, I'll be doing a beginner's rhinestone class, and it's a beginner design class. So if you are new to rhinestoning, Rhinestoning is that even a word? But if you're used to, if you're new to it, make sure that you sign up. I would sign up for Eve's beginners class first. Um, my class is going to be designing, and we'll be using Silhouette Studio to design with. 
um, I was trying to get another design software and somebody was like, no, don't do it. So we will see what happens, how I feel um, in a few days, but we will be using Silhouette Studio, um, the business edition to design in my beginner's class. It's all about designing. We do not go over cut settings. We don't go over um, times and temps. We don't go over anything that has to do with application. We don't go over that. So for that, you want Eve's beginner's class because it's a really good introduction to blinging with hot fix rhinestones where she's walking you through the all the steps. She's also um, providing you with a kit if you add that on to the course of you get a kit with hot fix um, tape with flock with some rhinestones and I think also with a template. So you want to sign up to her class if you are 100% new to rhinestoning. If you've taken her class or if you've done rhinestone um, designs before or just you've played around with rhinestones and you want to learn how to design your own templates, um, we have two different classes. So I do a beginner's class where we are really going over how to make your own SCG, how to turn rhinestones or how to turn text into rhinestone designs, um, how to save them, how to be able to export them outside of Silhouette Studio into Cricut Design Space and other softwares. And so the reason why I like um, Silhouette Studio is because you can, um, and preferably the business edition, why I like it for rhinestones. If you've been here for a while, you know that I usually do all of my designing inside of Adobe Illustrator. Um, even with rhinestones, I'll do my, I'll set the SCG, the um, original design inside of Adobe Illustrator, and then I'll import it into Silhouette Studio. But I can't, like I show you how to do everything inside of Silhouette Studio. So I show how to design your original template inside of Silhouette Studio. So I like it because it's economical for one. Um, right now it's $49.99. I don't have any links inside of my description because as y'all know, I just set the live, but it's $49.99 for Silhouette Studio, the business edition. And with the business edition, you are able to transport your designs outside of Silhouette Studio. Now, that means you can make your own SVGs for vinyl, HTV, or whatever. If you want to do some paper designs, you can. Um, so that's why I suggest the business edition. The designer edition is good for people who have uh, silhouette or have cameos. That's perfect for them. They may not ever want to sell their designs. They may not ever want to do anything like that with their designs. Um, and so that's for them. But if you ever want to consider selling your designs or even sharing your designs um, to somebody who does not have a cameo, you want the business edition because you can save it and upload those designs into other other programs. So I, I was gonna say, I don't have a cameo. I do have a cameo. It is literally still in the box. Um, I have not taken it out of the box yet. I'm gonna get some lotion. I have not taken it out of the box yet, but um, I have the business edition of Silhouette and I cut inside of, uh, with a Cricut or with my StarCraft Solo. So, but yeah, so if you're just starting out, um, definitely look into that. I know there's so many other rhinestone softwares out there and they're a bit pricey. So if, and honestly, I see like with Silhouette Studio, I can design the same thing that people are using these other softwares to do. So I don't see it as like a necessary jump. I do like learning um, softwares, if y'all can't tell. I do like learning new things and there, it might be a little easier. I don't know, but I don't find Silhouette Studio to be overly difficult either. So I said all that to say, try Silhouette Studio. All right, so this is our first design. I do have a few Easter designs coming up. I know this is a little bit close to Easter, being that Easter is going to be next week, Friday. So I'll probably be uploading um, some designs prior to uh, Friday's Friday's live. 
But yeah, I just did a whole lot of talking, huh? <laughs> I did a whole lot of talking. Hey, Nomi. Hey, Angela Marie. But that's it. So I do have a class coming up April 16th. That's a Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then I got to check with Eve to see when we're going to be doing the advanced classes. Um, and I am in the process of doing or taping some pre-recorded classes so that uh, you don't have to just wait around for the live class if that's not what you want to do. Hey, Miss Tracy. Hey, Kelly Trish. Hey, Valerie Morgan. Hey, Shirley Dabney. Y'all, I'm about to scroll down. Hey, Sin. Hey, Tyla, Latoya, Miss Melinda. Y'all know I don't talk so much and I'm already late. So I'm about to scroll down. Hey, Denise and Sylvia. Hey, Sharon. All right, y'all. Dorica. <laughs> hey, Dorica. Y'all, Dorica's designing her own stuff. Coretta, I see all y'all here, but I just got to scroll down. So if you say something now at this point, I'll. This was a lot of comments. I'll probably see it. Um, if I don't see it, please don't take it personal. I feel like I have to say this every live now because um, I do have people who kind of take it personal. And I don't want you all to take it personal. I appreciate everyone who comes into the chat, but I can't see um, every every message. And I can't scroll up. Like That's what kind of gets me thrown off when somebody says, oh, scroll up to my message because I can't see it. But trust me. I go back and I read every single comment that you guys leave because I appreciate those of you who leave comments. You chat in the in the message or in the comment box with me or with other crafters and viewers, and I appreciate that so much. And I do go back and read it, but it's just hard um, for me to keep up with. Uh, the chat it really really it's it's more so hard to keep up with the chat when i'm doing a craft and i'm trying to look at the the chat and also the the craft so i appreciate you guys please believe me when i say i really and truly do appreciate you guys taking out time to spend with me so if there's ever anything that you really want to know if you leave it in the chat um usually i'm pretty good at addressing it the next time i see your name pop up or if I know you on Facebook, um, and, and you, if you're in our group, I'll usually like comment or say something. Like, no, I'm not paying attention to the chat at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. All right, so we're gonna get ready to start brushing, but I need some lotion. About shapes and design studio, I can't find the heart. Um, Darlene, it's over on the side. I'm not going to be going inside of Silhouette Studio tonight, um, but it's over on the left side in the panel. Which edition do you have? And, but guess what? So even with the heart, if you guys have a heart someplace else, so if you download a heart from Creative Fabrica, you can use that heart too. The same way we used it the other night, you can use it the same exact um, way. I thought, oh, maybe I don't know. See, that's, I can't, I don't even know what the comment was before that. I don't even know. Hey, Samantha. Carol, y'all, we got to ring the bell for Carol. Carol went to her oncologist appointment yesterday and she got good news. She has to go back for a follow-up and she got good news. So y'all tell Carol DeLong, congratulations. And make sure that you guys keep her in your prayers and anybody else who is going through um, like anything like that where they, they, you know, you've gone through cancer and you have to every year. It's I know the feeling um, because when I first like that first two or three years that I had to go back and get um, my different checks, I used to go by week by yearly. And it was just the wait to see, did it come back or not, or what the case was, is something else wrong? So that is awesome. God is amazing. 
and she did send everybody who's in our Facebook group a um, thank you in the Facebook group for keeping her in their prayers. So that is awesome, Carol. All right, y'all. So I'm almost done. If you guys see, I'm like picking out some dots. I cut out two different designs. So we're going to get ready to start in a second. But I will be going to... Hey, Gail. <laughs> Gail, I'm a hot mess. I don't know. I, people don't believe me when I say I'm a hot mess. I am a real life hot mess. And it's fine. And it's not me saying something negative about myself. Because some people seem to... I have somebody say, you shouldn't say that about yourself, girl. It's better to know yourself than to not know yourself. And I know myself, so, well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't know who I am, but for the most part, I do know that. All right, so that one's all done. We are almost ready. So we have two designs. We have one design that says, oh, so saved. And the one that we're going to be brushing in tonight is a SS10. I'm going to switch over so you guys can see, and then I am actually going to run away for a second just because um my hands need some motion on them i call myself getting ready for bed y'all almost had me i was about to be wearing my pajamas and i was like you know what put on something else I'm not wearing pajamas today maybe a friday night we need to have a pajama craft night all right so we have this one here but let me scroll down. Sharon Jordan Hay. Hey, my crafting and sewing diary. Dorika Save It. Hey, Tamika. All right. Hey, Kevin. Kevin, did you send me a message? I think I saw your name in my email, but I did not get a chance to read my emails yet today. I'll probably read them before I go to bed. I think I saw your name come up on my thing. Hey, De Havilland. Where you been? I haven't seen you in a minute. Hope all is well. All right. Uh-oh. So, when I get off with you guys, I have some DTF prints that I got to do. <sighs> so, I'm going to try to make this fun and quick. All right, so the other design, I don't know if you guys saw, but I had a design that said bling. And that design, uh -oh, I don't have enough space on this one, but that's where it's going to go, over here. Um, that design was a SS10. This one's going to be a SS6. So we have an SS10 design and an SS6 design. Marilyn, you down for a pajama party? Marilyn, what are you doing on Friday? Do you want to hang out with your homegirl? Let me get some looks, y'all. All right, so which one are we going to brush him first, the SS6 or the SS10? So we have, hmm, let's do this one. So this is one of my Easter-ish designs, but it doesn't have to be for Easter. Oh, I'm getting block dots everywhere. Got on there, something sticky. Let's see, do you guys oh flash often? And during heart design, um, no, only time that it flashed was when I needed to reset my waist tank. Other than that, it hasn't flashed. Which one are we gonna do first, y'all? So this, the also saved one, Dems gave me a good idea. So y'all know how I like to do the Oso um, templates. And so I was doing the Oso save when I was telling her that what I was gonna do. And she was like, and you should put 
that's going to be like also oh, say, but I'm from the south side of the kingdom. So I didn't get a chance to add that on, but I am going to add it. Um, it's not going to be a permanent part of it. It's like, it's going to be something that's optional. Oh, the light looks horrible over here today, y'all. It's going to be optional. This is a little bit better. Um, it's going to be optional. So we're going to do this one first and let me get the stones. What color stones do we want to use today for that one? And I kind of wanted to use the, um, the spring collection of the opals. So don't try me. <laughs> I like that one too. I like that one too. I kind of want to use the um, opal collection on an Easter design. I do have an Easter design and I downloaded that really cute design that says silly rabbit Easter's for Jesus from the rhinestone mechanic, but I haven't cut it out yet. So I need to cut it out um this week so i don't know so don't try me look she's like don't forget that part hey tammy king hey veronica hey everybody that just came in hey y'all all right so let me get the colors that we're going to use we're going to put both designs that we're going to do tonight we're going to use uh black uh t-shirts i just need to see what color so I have been stuck on Sapphire lately, and I really, really, really like Sapphire. But we're going to do a little bit of, let's go with some Jonquil AB. So we'll do Jonquil AB. Um, so this has, this one has three different parts. Um, where is it? Okay, that's the other one. So this is this goes with the other design. So this has four different parts. But I'm thinking that I might just, the oh so, I might just use the same color as the, as the outline and just have the inside different. So what y'all think? That's what we're going to do. So let me just get two other colors that we, um, that we can use for the insides. I don't know what I want to use though. I've been using, oh, ooh, we are going to use some of the metal lights. That's what we're going to use. I keep forgetting that I have all of these beautiful metal lights. So we're going to use the metal lights with Jonquil AB. So I think I, I'm going to like that. So we have, we're going to get ready to brush in our first design. So I'm going to see how the Jonquil AB is going to look around the metal lights. I'm not really sure um, how that will, will look because I don't think I've used Jonquil with the metal lights. I've used Orm Dorado and uh, Labrador with it, but maybe, maybe it'll be good. Where's my tape? Has anybody seen AJ? Let AJ know that I will be using brand new KTM masks today. I know she's going to just be so thrilled by that. But I need to, let me see where I want to cut. I'm going to cut right there. All right, give me two seconds here. I'm just going to cut me. pieces of this KTM mask and we'll see. So if you don't know, I get my rhinestones from the baby's booty and my KTM mask and my flop that I'm using comes from Heat Transfer Warehouse. So but my rhinestones, you guys have seen my rhinestones before. Right. So let's get going. I really do have to get some more stuff done before I go to bed. Uh oh. All right. So let me. I'll put this over here. All right. So let's get to brushing. So we're going to start out with Jonquil AB. And we're just brushing in this part. This part we're not brushing in. These are. 
This is SS6, and that's going to be for another um, another design. AJ, hey, AJ, you must have known I was just talking about you. I literally just said your name. So I'm just going to kind of move these around a little bit. Hey, Just Paper Crafting. Hey, Tony. Yay. What color stones did you get, Tony? Okay. How exciting. Hey, Miss Becky. Got 50 yards in. Yay. You want that home. Ooh. All right. So let's get ready to brush. So this is Jonko. Jonko is very, very pretty. Um, we're going to be using it with the metal lights tonight. I haven't tried that combination yet, but we're going to see how that will how that will look. But so far, gotta always check that because I have SS six stones everywhere. Which colors to use? Like yellow. Oh. Timmy. So certain colors I can see like would look better on a yellow shirt. Um, I love, I think you guys have heard me say this before, I love like the tone on tone um, colors. So like shirts that are one color and stones that are similar in color. I love those types of, of shirts and colors mixed together. Um, and then Eve showed the other night, maybe not the other night, but maybe like a week or two ago, maybe probably two weeks ago, she showed um, a website that kind of helps with like different color combinations and things like that, which I thought was really, really cool. She, she did something on Google. So check that, check out her channel. It had to, it, of course it was on like a Sunday night but it might have been no more than three weeks ago. It couldn't have been more than three weeks ago. All right, so I know right here, where is it? I think there's a hole. I knew that I didn't get a, get that hole right there. Is that a secret? Hey teacher, 31322, welcome in. Rainbow looks good. Oh, rainbow does look good. I gotta see what color I'm gonna use tonight. I, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use a color that I haven't used um, much online before. Okay, maybe you guys can see a little better now. Let's hope. I'm gonna bring the. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to get back up in a minute to get the transfer tape. But yeah, I didn't get the rainbow. Okay. Yeah, rainbow does look good on yellow. What kind of design are you using? Or like, what is it? What colors do you like best? I'm kind of adventurous with colors, I think. Um, I'll try anything out to see if I like it. So I don't really have any favorite color um, combinations. Because I'll try anything at that moment out unless it's something somebody specifically asked for like of course with like different fraternities or sororities different colors that they may want specifically hey rachel thank you rachel i appreciate that i think i'm gonna Hey now, a color wheel. All right. So this is pretty easy to brush in. This didn't cut too, like it cut really, really good. The other one, I did notice some overlapping stones in the other design that we're gonna brush in. So I do have to go in and fix that. So these are not on my website or in Etsy just yet. So, and I have been in the process of um, adding all of my newer designs to my website. But what do you guys think? Do you guys just prefer Etsy? Because I could keep it on both, but um, I have been planning. I'm just trying to see like if I need to leave it on Etsy for a little bit longer 
of, of what the case is. But I do plan on eventually moving everything over. Um, if you order or if you download one of the files off of my website, check your spam mail because um, your confirmation email will go to your spam mail and then you'll also get a copy of your uh, design in your email too. So check, check your spam or junk folder. All right, it's going in pretty good. Hey, Tianda, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm just gonna brush the rest of this in. Uh -oh. All right, I'm gonna have to put that one in manually because it's so close to the other ones. And it's almost time for me to get a new brush. I think these bristles are worn out. I do have another brush. I have quite a few, but it's time. I've used this a lot. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Katika. I'm so happy with your UV printer. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love my UV printer. I need to do more videos showing me um, using it. So I use it a lot um, for y'all know how much stuff I do at school. Like I just love making stuff for the kids and um, for just people at the school. So I use it a lot for stuff like that, but I love it. I love to use it with my laser. Um, it's so much easier to, to print on. I love it. The one thing that I did, I had to work on the Y axis because it was off a little bit. Um, like maybe after two months, it kind of got kicked off, but I was able to troubleshoot it and get it back on track. So that was the only thing that I had. But I guess that's something that they say is common, but I was like, mm -mm. And what that did was that affected how everything uh, lined up for me. But I do like it. I do. I want a bigger UV printer now. Yeah, I like it. Hey, Denise. Anybody that came in, hey, Miss Cheryl. Anybody that came in, I'm sorry if I missed you. All right, so I'm just doing the E right now and running my fingers just to make sure that there are no overlapping stones. I didn't see Chris. I did see, no, I didn't see Janita. Did I see Janita? I don't remember seeing Janita. So I did see Mary Brown who helps me too. AJ, I saw AJ. That kind of helps to make sure that no stones are overlapping. All right, so the first part is done. This is John Quill AB. I'll show you guys John Quill AB again a little closer so you can see it. All right, so this is John Quill AB. It's a crystal stone. There's a flock dock still in the, oh, no, no, no. It's This one right here is a, um. Because when I layer the other words, the little tail is going to go right there. But look at you, Mary Bear, helping me out. Thank you, girl. Because you know it's a flock dot somewhere still on here. I'm pretty sure of it. All right. My jonquil has been super staticky. This Well, this is not just jonquil. It's jonquil AB. Jonquil AB is one of my favorite outlining um stones to use so i wanted to see how that was going to look with the metal lights we're going to see i hope it looks good with the metal light stones maybe i should use um metal light and like the other the the regular stone too check the cross hey don's world of babies and crafting i think it's okay <laughs> veronica why are you hollering what happened 
Did I miss something in the chat? Thanks, Mary. Mary, I was wondering where you were at, girl. I knew it must have looked good if, if you or Chris, Janita, or AJ didn't tell me anything. I was actually paying attention to the chat for a change. All right, let's hope I cut enough. I cut too much. Let's cut too much. That's why under crossboard right here. Oh no no, that's what you guys will see. It's it's gonna be a um the tail of O oh so the O oh, is gonna go through like there. That's why that's there. Hey Marina, they are so beautiful. They really are. All right, y'all. So I'm just reducing some of the static from this fresh piece of um transfer mask and this is why i don't why i don't really like new transfer tape all right so we're just gonna put it right in let's go down so these jungles there's they've been so staticky i don't know what i did okay but they went good Montgomery, so nice of you to join us. All right. All right, so this should be good. I'm going to peel this off. Is okay to post color cube info on your page? Sure, that's perfectly fine. And Cheryl, you can post that on our page. careful because I have some of this uh, masking touching the board and that's where it becomes a little tricky because I don't want to pop any stones off. Okay. You now heard that pop. That's what happens. I'm just being very careful. At least I'm trying to be careful. You don't seem like it, but I am. That's why I like the old piece of the old um ATM mask because I don't usually have to worry about that too much. But everything looks great. Yo, I was just about to say, oh, I'm missing a stone <laughs> where the cross is. I was just about to say that. Oh, I'm missing a stone, but I keep forgetting. All right, let me go ahead and put this on now. And we are going to Save this. Uh oh, one did one turn over. No, it's fine. So this is what we have. So I'm gonna put this over on the side. Uh oh, that one looks good. <laughs> Enjoy your burger, Marilyn. Take your time. Don't run. All right. So I'm just gonna sit this here for now. Let's get ready to brush in. So let's look at these metalite stones and see what color we wanna use on those. I think my stones, oh, Karen. I have been the same. So Tony, are you saying that your, your stones were a little bit staticky? I had a little bit of static going on with my stones. So I think we may use, so I have gold black. If you guys haven't seen the new metal lights, I think we used them last week um, on a live. And I have the red. Ooh. What if we use crystal? So this is my favorite, y'all. The crystal, the silver crystal is one of my favorites. Surprisingly, because crystal isn't one of my favorite stones. But the silver crystal is just doesn't make sense. Time so many a best friend's shirt. Nice, Sonia. Work on my design. I, listen, I have seen you guys in the Facebook group designing away. I think that that is amazing. You guys are doing awesome. Keep going. 
It looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I was going to do green and gold, but I think maybe should we do the emerald color? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's silver. I put some of my other metal lights someplace else. I had to. Where are they? That's a blue. I have no idea what colors I want to use right now. So, I was. No, no, no. Because I was thinking of maybe doing silver or doing crystal and. I don't know, y'all. I have no idea what I want to do with my little self. Let's see. You guys are probably like, girl, make up your mind. I can't. It's This is too much stress. All right, let's see where my other little cubes at. Not those. Um, not those either. Hi, Patrice. What you have in mind today? Uh, I don't know. So let's go ahead and just do the silver. Because it's going to go on a black shirt. So let's do the crystal, the clear crystal, and the. Clear crystal and a blue. That's what we will do. I kind of want to do gold. I like girl, make up your little mind. <laughs> I can't make up my mind, y'all. All right, so gold sapphire and gold emerald. I could do emerald and um, gold emerald. But we'll do it. No, that's silver. I don't want silver. Uh, I don't want to do green, um, red and blue, because I've done red and blue before. Oh, let's do red and crystal. That's still. Yep. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to do red and crystal, because guess what? Y'all don't have all day, and neither do I. So let's go ahead and do red and crystal. All right. So these are the two. So we're going to do the top. That's the silver crystal. And then we have silver cyan. <laughs> and Nikki feels stressed out when she does that. <laughs> hey, Fifi, what's up? Fifi. Girl, call me when I got here. I'll call you when I get off. Oh, but I do like the black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do. I already know what we're gonna do. I already know. Oh, let's do black and red. I'm like, girl, can you? And I'm like, no, I can't. Okay, we're gonna do gold. <laughs> We're going to do black and red, but we're going to use the gold. Hey, Sandra, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I'm going to put the red on top. It kind of gives us Easter vibes or no? I made a cute little bunny design. If you were in the beginner's class of the um, design class, I was going to print out that bunny today to do it, but I think I might wait to do that on Friday. So this is the red. This is what we're doing now, gold cyan. So that's what we're putting into... The top part of the word saved.
I'm going to turn. I have one that's upside down. So these stones are really flat. So some of them you may have to um, manually flip them with your wax pen. So just know that. Uh-oh. Y'all, I'm being sloppy. Nobody told me I was being sloppy. All right, so we're go over here. Let me just brush these over. And we'll see how this is going to look. So, of course, I intended to use this, like, with two different stone colors um, just to get an ombre effect. Oh, my goodness. That's just too many for me to have to try to worry about flipping over. All right. But we're going to see how it's going to look with the gold, um, the gold trim and the black. Hey, Simone. Welcome in. Okay, after I can I, oh, this one has in a front package. Oh, that's awesome, Carol. That is awesome. All right, so we're going to have to manually move a few of these out. And then we'll see what that's going to look like. So it's really me just getting a wax pen and taking them out. I want to see better what you guys are saying. Okay, I think having the phone like that. I got my iPad. All right, so let's get ready, y'all. And I am just moving these. Is Becky you were on the live that Carol won the the prizes? Got a few that we gotta put in, but we're gonna try to hurry up and get those in as quickly as possible. Yes, welcome everyone. Thanks, Dempsey. Uh -oh. No. My wax pen feels a little staticky. Maybe it's me that's staticky today. Maybe I'm the staticky. I'm the staticky component of this situation. I keep saying everything is staticky. Maybe it's me. That's possible. Let me go ahead and move these out. I do guys see we had a few upside down. So these stones are flat. So when brushing them in because they're flat they really don't have anything to really like push it over. So, yeah. Gail, thank you so much, Gail. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. And then we're gonna do the bottom. And then we just have one more design to test out. But I already saw a problem in that design. Um, this one cut out perfectly fine. So I'll put this, I'll upload it. And then I have to, I'm gonna upload some extras um, to that you can add if you want to, or if you don't wanna add it, you don't have to. It'll just be like an extra file that you can cut out. Thank you, Rachel. It's unbiased. Oh, y'all, is this a, did I miss a dot here? No, maybe not. Why does it look like I missed a dot right here? It really looks like a dot is supposed to be there. Oh, never mind. That's where the ombre is supposed to go. <laughs> Richard, you don't know your own design. I don't. I don't. Thank you, Sandra. All right, y'all. 
this is this is the part where you might get frustrated i like this part though because i find it to be very relaxing um we need a diamond painting date who's up for diamond painting one night because i haven't diamond painted and i still have that cute painting that i have not completed yet and i need to uh finish it or i want to finish it that's the plan all right we're almost done with this word i don't think i have any extra the laura okay laura we're gonna be we're gonna do some diamond painting girl because oh, it's so relaxing it's kind of like this this is what diamond painting is if you guys don't know like diamond painting where it's you have a portrait and it's pretty much numbered i don't know if you guys ever did like the color by number um projects but that's kind of what it is, but it's diamond painting. And so you're literally placing diamonds um, on top of a portrait that has, it's coated in like a sticky um, coating. And so you color it with the, the diamond drills. And it's relaxing, but it is a lot. It's a lot of uh, diamonds that you're going to be using while doing it. There are some people that actually do this for their entire template. Like they don't crush it in. They actually just place each of the stones in. Janita, if she's here, she does that. I don't know if she started using the brush yet, but she likes to do it because it is relaxing. Number five, number five. Okay, so we're gonna, I think we'll do maybe like a Saturday um diamond painting day we still have to do another bling along so i'll set that up and we need to set up our embroidery along because we haven't done one of those in a while either we have a lot of things to do though yeah. miss rosalind Yes, you need to finish. I said I saw some other ones that I like, and I'm like, I'm not getting any more until I finish the last one that I started. So if I want to get another one, I have to finish it. But Kenya was doing a lot of diamond paintings. Kenya, are you still here? Are you still doing all of those diamond paintings? And she was knocking them out left and right. I know she's moving, so she might be packing up and stuff, so she may have everything packed up, but she has been knocking them out left and right. Hey, Carla, welcome in. So we have our red done. And then we're going to do, you know, you know what? I had the other metal lights over here that whole time. All right, so let me get a piece of transfer tape. And I'm just gonna cut this in half and hope that it works. That it's gonna be enough. We'll see. Uh, probably not. I think I'll cut it too small, but we'll work it out. <laughs> we will work it out. So because yeah, I figured that can you Sorry, right, y'all. That's a fresh piece of KTM mask. So I'm just gonna take this, bend it up, and drop it down. Looks like this one's gonna fit. All right, that's gonna, that's gonna fit good. All right, so now we're gonna brush in the black, the gold black, and that's gonna go come out. Hey, Shawana. 
AJ, I been said that I had new mask. I was like, well, where's AJ, y'all? Because I'm using some new mask today. And then as soon as I said that, you came in like, how do y'all? I was like, I must have spoke her up. Talking about this mask. All right, so we have just two more parts. And again, this part, I think we're going to do the part that says, oh, so I think we're going to do that in John 4 AB. All right, this is looking decent so far. All right, let me just put some of this stuff up because I can't. I'm trying to think if I want to do the Oso and Jonquil or if we want to do it in another color. Let's see. So here's the black. Uh oh, why isn't my. Y'all, we are about to lose connection because my. I didn't turn on the, the charger. Hold on. I'm about to pull a mirror in on y'all. I don't know how Marilyn does it. It doesn't do it. But we're safe now, y'all. We're safe. All right, let's brush. So these are the gold black. Look how gorgeous those are. Those are beautiful. So how many of y'all got a hold of some of these already? I saw a few people say that they are beautiful. If you didn't tell me, what, what do you guys think of the Metalite Stones? Are they as amazing as I say, and Marilyn says, I think they are absolutely gorgeous. All right. These black are brushing in really easy. Beautiful having some more Thursday. Carol, Carol, how many sets of stones did you get? You're getting more. I know you say I think you got your first package. And which colors? If you got the metal lights, and if you got more than one color which color like impressed you the most so my favorite colors in the metal light um are the silver crystal and the uh silver black and the gold black those are my favorites of the metal lights but y'all know i like darker colors anyway but i'm really surprised how much i love the silver uh crystal but i love uh the silver and gold black so says she thinks that they're beautiful. Yes, they do bling. Yep. In the through the bubble wrap. <gasps> one on me too. That's one of my favorites. Got them. I need the crystal. I think the crystal is really. Oh, there's a fly. The crystal is really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. And you guys know that I'm not really a crystal person. But I love the crystal. Y'all see, I was ready to, to brush in some crystal stones tonight. The crisp, silver crystal, though, metal light. It's super, super pretty. All right, so these brushed in all the way right. So I just have one more. Maybe, sometimes maybe it was just me. Maybe it was something I was doing wrong with the other ones. I was probably just being really, really impatient. But all of these brushed in perfectly. Karen says she has three more coming in. Yeah, I love these colors. Hey, time you. <gasps> Evie, hey Evie. Evie is here while we're talking about these metal light stones. They are gorgeous. 
All right, so we're done with the black. This is gold black. And now we are going to get ready to apply the transfer tape. And I'm just trying to think like what color if I want the Oso in that Jonquil AB or if I want it in another color. Uh, I better do it in the Jonquil AB. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do it in Jonquil AB. Because, yeah. Hey, Don. Well, right now I think there's 13, but Evie, can you verify exactly how many metalites uh, there are? I know I have 13. There may be more. So check with Evie. Flippy. Hey, Flip. I'll see you tomorrow. I think. Miss Becky, what's wrong? What happened? Hey, Linda Gray. All right, so let's go ahead again. I am going to, hey, Taryn. I am going to, sorry, y'all. And if I missed you when you came in, I'm sorry. My head is down. I'm brushing in stones, and I can't really see the, the chat all that good, but I do have the chat in front of me. Yeah, and Eve sounds great, y'all. I don't know if she's feeling 100% better, but I know she sounds 100% better. Y'all, let me put those stones up. And I don't have any spare stones. And there's a missing dot right here. Okay, I got it out. Now I got to take out a whole nother... Um, a whole nother stone that I don't have. I was actually decent today and brushed, brushed all the stones back in the container for a change. I never do that. I would do it now. Number five. Okay, so Eve is listing the colors that you can get in the metal lights. So you have, I, I missed one. Hold on. So you have number one, Aquamarine, which it hasn't come in again yet. She's letting us know in case you can't see the chat. Carol said she loves the silver emerald and the silver aquamarine. Um, okay, so she said there's about 17. So you have the black. You have... What other colors? The crystal, which the crystal, the blacks and the crystals. Both blacks are my favorites and the crystal is my favorite. Uh, sapphire and cyan. Where can I see a picture of all the metalites? Uh, I don't know, Evie, is, are they on your website? I think, they're, I think they're all on the website. And don't forget, y'all, the buy-in is going to be starting on... Friday. Usually it starts on Sunday, but it's starting on Friday this week on the 31st. So be ready. Got the silver crystal. Hey, Mrs. JB. Be getting the crystals and the colors from out in store. Number seven is Topaz. Hey, Delanta. Number six is Emerald. Uh, green zircon metals be on the buy-in. So, Gail, the the metal lights will not be on the buy-in right now. It's only for a uh, buy now. And number nine. Uh oh, number nine. There might be a surprise, y'all. Number nine might be a surprise. You didn't see any there, so maybe she took them down. I think we show on uh, Marilyn's last live, or the live before that, not the not her um, celebration live, but the the Marilyn's live before that. So week before last, I guess she or we showed. Uh, all of the different colors of the metal lights, if you want to see that. 
they are sold out. Oh, I gotta do this one. So let me, so we have one more design to brush in after this one. I'm gonna try to hurry a little bit because I still have a few orders. I mean, a few shirts to press for tomorrow. So I do want to. So this is what you guys are missing. So I'm just brushing in John Cole here. If you were here earlier, you'd know that I used John Cole um, for the outline and across. And I have some other uh, Easter designs that I need to test out before I list them. I just didn't have time to fit them up today. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I brushed them pretty easily. And this is John Cole AB. My favorite outline stone. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So these are the John Cole ABs. Very nice. All right, all right, all right. All right, guys. So we're ready to press this shirt. And then we'll do the other one. I know. Hold on, guys. Let me pre-press the shirt first, and then um, which shirt is this? Oh, I don't know which one I want to do. That's gonna be me for tomorrow. Um, let's do Excel. That sounds good. All right, y'all. I'm just going to pre-press this shirt really quick. Get ready to press. Uh oh, you know, I forgot to put some transfer tape on me. Hold on, let me get an old piece. You don't even remind me to put the transfer tape on here. So we're just going to put the transfer tape, and this is an old piece of transfer tape. Hey Zelda, welcome in. Hey Yvonne from Cali. All right. All right, y'all. So we're ready to rock and roll. And this over here. All right. So we're done with this template for the night. Let's get ready to place these on here. Come out right to everybody. In. All right, so let's put our outline on. So this is going to go All right. All right here. No, there isn't a a um stone missing. Don't worry. And the also is gonna go right here, so it's too far down because the also is gonna go something like that. 
That's why I use that. It's going to go into the cross right there. Okay, we're going to move that up just a little. Thank you, Mavika. Girl, I was mad because it sweated out so bad. And I don't have like a relaxer or anything. And it's only Tuesday. How I'm going to make it through the rest of the week. But it's all good. And picture day is tomorrow. I was not happy. But thank you, Mavika. Made me feel a lot better. All right. So that is looking good. So that's going to go there. We're going to get ready to press this. Hey, Jolanda. Welcome in. All right, y'all. I'm going to move this over here. Let's go back down. So we're pressing the first. We're just doing the outline, and then we're going to put the rest together, and then we'll press our second shirt. Ew. I love when y'all see the rhinestones in person. I love it. Okay. Um. All right. So I let that go the entire time just because. All right. So let's go ahead. Uh oh. Stuck. All right. So that one's. All done. Now we're going to get ready to layer it. And so remember, like when you're stretching the shirt, like when it's um, warm, that can kind of sometimes like stretch your shirt out of whack. So you do want to be careful. So we are going to layer in the first, the top part. So what I would probably do is, since I did the outline the same color as um, Oso, I would just go ahead and cut that out together, like just weld it and cut it out together so I don't have to press it multiple times and it'll already be where it needs to be. So here we're just doing it and you can kind of move your shirt a little bit if it doesn't exactly how you want it to. I do find that that helps a lot. And then I'm just going to push it down inside. All right, we're going to press again. And I haven't had any issues with uh, pressing the regular stones before the metal lights. But if you can, I would suggest doing the metal lights first, uh, just because they're a lot flatter than the regular stones. So, yeah. Ernique, it is relaxing. Is it Ernique or Erniqua? It is relaxing. All right, y'all, so if you've never seen the metal lights, you guys are about to see see me take the masking tape. And I do uh, peel it hot. It is a, a hot peel. Look at that. You can, you can see the, the shine to it, even from there. All right, so now we're going to press in that second... Uh, layer for the bottom. Thank you, Lavika. Ernie. Thank you, Ernie. All right, let's put this on. Good night, Carol. Have a good night at work. All right, so we're just going to layer this in. All 
right, it looks good, it looks good, it looks good, it looks good. And I'm just going to put that there and I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and press both of these together. Let's see. Missing a stone in the S right there. That might be a spacing thing, but it might not be. I'm gonna check the template. Thank you, told me that. Don's roll. I'm gonna check it and see. That might have been a spacing thing for me, or it might be I actually missed one. So I'm gonna check it. Uh oh. Let's see. All right. So in this, I got flop spots everywhere. Oh, I don't want it to touch it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the bottom part of this transfer tape. This is the old tape, so it needs to go in the garbage anyway. So I'm just gonna cut cut it because that way it won't attach to the other transfer tape. All right. All right, let's see if that will work. Okay, that does work. So I'm gonna move it just over just a tad because that's how the S. So remember, I said we were missing. Oh, I didn't say we were missing. You guys noticed that there was a hole there. That's because the O goes there. But I don't think I want it that close. I don't like the hump right here. That's better. I like how that looks a little bit better. Maybe not. Maybe I like that better. I mean, it's up to you. There's really no wrong or right way to really layer that part. It's just what you like. All right, so we're going to go. Oh, these metal light stones, y'all. Mm. These are gorgeous. <laughs> I think I like I think I like the color combination that we use. I think I like it. Thanks for scale. Thank you. Thank you, Lena Doyle Crafting and Wana and Paige and everybody. Thanks, y'all. All right, let me get it off. It's time. <laughs> All right, so let's see how this is going to look, and then we will do um, a front look at it. That's the also, I think this was here. I have to put that in the trash. And then we have the bottom part. Oh, I'm dropping everything, y'all. Ooh, that looks good. I like the two colors. All right, so we're done with this shirt. I'm gonna turn, bring it to the front so you guys can see it. But we are done with this one. But look how this looks, y'all. And so remember, Dim wants me to put underneath. Dim, type me what you want to put on underneath. Trust me to say, "Don't try me." I'm from the south side of the kingdom. Thanks, y'all. All right, let me go ahead. I'm going to, so this is, so these are the metal lights. So I don't know if you guys, if you, if this is your first time hearing of the metal lights, the metal lights kind of do like a, they're not an AB stone, but they kind of shift colors because the rim of the stone is the gold or silver. And so when you turn it, you get different shades of either, the color that's inside, or you get the gold. And it literally jumps, like those lights are literally jumping. Let me change cameras, y'all know I gotta change the camera. And then we're gonna brush in the other one. So y'all know, so look how this looks, y'all. Y'all see those, they literally like jump. And I'm gonna turn it away from the light and still look at it. So we used red at the top and black at the bottom. So you see it right there. Now you can see it 
head on, you can see it. But then as it turns, you'll get, it almost looks like it's only gold, right? But it's not. It's red in the center, and then it has that trim. And look at these Jonquil AB stones, like the outline is Jonquil AB. And look how these Jonquil AB stones like still hold its own, even in the midst of all this greatness. Like, isn't it amazing? So I love, I love how it turned out. I do. All right, so let's move on because I gotta I got some DTF shirts that I gotta do. Mm, let me see if I but I'm not doing DTF on live. I'm just gonna do of course y'all know we gotta take a short, a brief intermission when I'm switching cameras. Is the red Siam? Yes, the red is Siam. It's Siam. Cute, right? Delanda, do you need um any research or are you over your head in um, research. Let me know. Are you over your head in research? Like you're, you're not taking any research proposals or anything. What did I do with that other one? Okay, here it is. All right, so we're going to get ready to brush in the other design. And I put this up prematurely because this one should be fairly quick for us to brush in. And I got some of my um, curing oven gunk on it all right so let me put this over here so this is similar to the design if you guys saw eve on sunday she had on the bling shirt and i had designed this i do have the 10ss version of this design inside of on my website but um it's a little different than this one <laughs> let me see what colors we're going to use today all right, so I think I'm going to, I want something very blingy. Um, ooh, icicles. Icicles might look really good with this one. Icicles maybe. Um, something very, very blingy. Uh, what is, oh, black diamond. Oh, I'm gonna use a black shirt. I want it to be really, really off the wall. Um, I know I have rainbow. We have cyan, light cyan. Uh, hyacinth. Want something to really wow us. Do Labrador. Do have a little bit of rainbow. Rainbow AB with um icicles AB. What y'all think? And then have like a solid, oh. So, okay, let me get one more color. Let's see what other color you wanna get in here. Um, decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions, crystal golden, what color is this? Champagne AB. Ooh, do I want champagne AB or icicles? Yo, this is tough. Oh. All right, so I think we're going to try. I haven't used the crystal light yet. So I think we're not going to use icicles. Even though I want to, we're going to use crystal light. And then let's do crystal light and. Did I cut? Oh, I did cut it. Y'all, how many times have you guys been on here where I've cut my rubber band? By the volcano is pretty. So this is this is the chrysolite. So it has like a nice greenish look. Oh, ooh. Okay, I think I might know what I want to do. Let's see. So maybe we'll do chrysolite. Um, I'm thinking olivine. I'm, where's my olivine? Olivine, where are you? Uh, how can I? Okay, here it is. Chrysolite and olivine with a 
Peridot. Chrysolite, olivine, and Peridot. Y'all know Peridot is my birth stone. So what if I do... I just about to do this. We just about to we just about to do this. Let's let's do it. Let's do a whole bunch of green on the black shirt. Why not? All right, so icicles another time, rainbow another time. Not today. Okay. I'm excited about this. Um but I will need a darker color for the word queen. Yes, these are SS6s, y'all. We only play around with SS10. SS6, we take very, very serious. All right, so for the outline, I'm thinking I was going to do the outline in Peridot. I am. I'm going to do the outline in Peridot. Thanks, Flippy. Which, do I have rain, rainbow AB or I think I just have rainbow? I think it's just rainbow, I think. So, so y'all, this is gonna brush in really, really quickly. I don't know what people tell you about SS6 stones and why SS6 have like such a bad reputation, but look how easy these brush in. I literally just have to brush over it and then brush back and one is gonna fall into place. It's a super blinger. That's how I was thinking of using it on the inside mirror beer of the word instead of using it as the um, outline. But now I think maybe I should have, since you said it's like a, what did you call it, Marilyn? A super blinger, I probably should have used it as the outside. So this is my first time using chrysolite. I've never used chrysolite before. So that is a crystallite. Chrysolite. So I've never used it before. Um so this is gonna be the first time. The SS6 brushes in so nicely. The problem is, is that you get stone stuck in your brush. <laughs> Evie, you know it's true. My poor little SS6s have a bad reputation. I don't know why, where it comes from, but yes. I feel like I have to be the one to advocate for, for them. Because, mm-mm. You guys see how nicely they're brushing in? Very, very nicely, very, very smoothly and easily. And I think we're almost done with this one. Yep. This is pretty much all brushed in. All right. Oh, I have two more over here that I didn't get it up here at the top. All I did was knock some out of the brush to put in there. <laughs> they, they are stuck in here. All right, so let's go ahead and brush these back in the container. I cannot wait to see what this crystal light looks like. I'll show you guys close up in a minute. It's my first time using it. Here. Um, all right, y'all. Sorry, it's quiet, but I, I seek a lot of concentration to make sure I don't knock all of my stones on the floor. All right, let's see. We're doing the Eve. And if you look, I found one. So this just helps you to remove any overlapping 
stones or extra stones that might be in your template. So remember I said that I'm glad that I uh, cut this out and checked it with y'all tonight because there are two sets of stones right here that are touching. Now the stones brushed in perfectly fine, but when it cut, it kind of cut into the other one. I'll show you guys a little bit closely what I'm talking about. So these are the pair dots. And so right here, those two holes, they're touching. So, well, there's four holes right here and those are touching. So I'm glad that um, I tested out with y'all to, to make sure that it's legit. But that's what we got. Let's go ahead and put our transfer tape. If I could find the transfer tape, now what I, okay, here it is. So what did I do with it? And this looks really, really good. I'm just going to take this and push it down. This is on the site in ss10 though it's not the ss10 is slightly different than this one um, but it is on my website in ss10 okay so i'm gonna go ahead and lift this up yeah i may need to make me a new orleans template i'm gonna flip all right, leave the lens out. All right, we're done with that one. Now we're gonna brush it over and, or turn it over and brush the other. All right, so this is the first side. Then we're gonna do the next one. All right, so. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with that other one. So I'm gonna go with the top one. We're gonna use just trying to see. Let's do the top and chrysolite. Let's do the top and chrysolite. Ooh, these are pretty. They are blinking. Oh, I like these. Hmm. I might do the no, I'm not gonna do the whole diamond in it. I was gonna say I'm gonna just do the whole thing in first of light, but no. We're gonna add a little color with the olivine. But these are gorgeous, y'all. Hey Danny. Thanks, Mayor Bear. All right, I'm just move some of these out of the way already. Hey, Ruby. Thank you for being here. Yeah, when the stones are really pretty and really sparkly, I get really quiet. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that, but when they get really, really pretty, it's almost like I just want to be nice and gentle with these stones. And then we'll do the olive bean for the bottom. Hey, Paula D. Anybody that came in that I did not see, I'm sorry. My head's went down. So, hey, happy Tuesday. All right. 
It's kind of curved at the. Oh, I think when I cut it, I kind of cut the chopping mat a little bit. All right, so look how easily those brushed in. Y'all, I tell y'all, the SS6 stones are super easy to work with and they blink bright. All right, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. I need to do the eave a little bit. Let me go ahead and put that back. All right. Okay, so all those are in. Hey, Vivian. Um, so I got this brush from Amazon. They have, I think, no, well, I, so I get brushes from all over the place, Vivian, honestly. I think I got it from Amazon. I might have gotten it from, it's going to came from Amazon or it could have come from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Only, those are the only two places. So I've gotten brushes from both places. So I get that from both. So Amazon or heattransferwarehouse.com. If you look under one of my other videos for rhinestones, I might have a link there. If not, just go to Amazon and type in um, rhinestone brush or edge brush, something like that. All right, so the crystal white is all done. Y'all, that crystal white is gorgeous. Look at look how it's blinking back there. Did you guys see when the camera like just went to focus on that? Look at that. Oh, it is beautiful, beautiful. All right, let me. I get like this. I get a little bit of static in here. I don't want any of my really I don't want any of my um stone soup get lost. All right, so let's go ahead and transfer this over. I think I'm gonna have to cut a new piece of transfer uh, tape for that part. Two more pieces. Yeah, I'm using a lot of new transfer tape. I don't feel good about myself with this either. Uh -oh, there's one here. I need to move that out the way. All right. I just eyeballed this, so let's hope I'm good on eyeballing. Let's hope so. Uh oh, there's another one. I missed that one too. I don't want to do too much eyeball. I'll get it wrong. All right. I have uneven tape. All right, let's get ready, y'all. I'm making a mess right now. That's gonna be good. <laughs> um, telling you, so this one, this is SS six. This one right now, this the SS six version is not in my store yet, but it'll be in my store. As someone. It'll be in my store um, probably tonight. I just got one little change that I need to make on this one. This one actually says Bling Queen on it. Uh, the other one, the SS10, doesn't say Queen on it. It just says Bling. So I might have to add this version in SS10. Oh, y'all. This is why I don't like the tape. But guess what? I'm going to be very careful. Flip it over gently. I don't want any stones. So some of the stones flipped. I don't know if you guys could tell. So what I'm doing before I press down any harder, I'm looking to see the direction that they're going in. I got one wrong. And I'm just flipping it back 
into place. But the important part is to make sure that you don't flip it the wrong way. Some of them you have no choice but to flip them the wrong way. But I'm not, I refuse to rebrush these in. So we're going to press it and then I'll just fill it in. And we're done. We'll see. It's going to work out perfectly for us. They really jumped up. But that's the one thing, too, with my favorite size stones that happens to me sometimes with these stones. And I'm literally pushing them down in the hole. Look, I have like a whole bunch missing right there. But we're going to still proceed. I'm not going to move them. I'm going to get as many back down in the template as possible. And I'm just flipping them over with my hands. And then I'll show you guys closer what happened. So it's that static. So most of the design came out good, but right here, you guys see in this area and here, we have stones that have flipped over. So that does happen sometimes, unfortunately, but it's not the end of the world. And I'm actually not going to worry about trying to remove them now. I'm just gonna press the shirt as is and then after that, we'll go ahead and fix it when we press the other, the other press. So I'm just going to brush, like, go down. Thanks, Evie. Yeah, it's a new tape. That's why I, I know y'all get on me about using my old tape, but the old tape, I don't experience these types of issues with the old tape. Now, when it's not... Um, the only thing is, is that when your old tape has lost too much of its stickiness, sometimes you can shift it out of place when you're putting the tape down, but you rarely ever have them literally flip over on you. So that is why I like my old tape. All right. So... This is the, you guys see those crystal lights blinking? We don't fix that. It's gonna take us a little minute, but it's, we're going to fix it when we get ready to press it. I'm not gonna try to fix it now. All right, so let's do olivine. Hold on, let me get my olivine. Thank you, Sharon. Big Gorman graphics. YouTube Gorman Graphics. I have everything. I got my tea. Of course, you know that. Not ever too far away from it. All right. Let's do Olivine. And Olivine is a darker shade of green. So we kind of went with all greens tonight. So we're going to see how this looks. Will we be able to tell the difference? Will we be able to tell the difference between the Peridot and the uh -oh, so, Walk? Will we be able to tell the difference between the Peridot and the Chrysolite? Because looking at them, they're kind of similar. The only thing is, is that um, Chrysolite is oh, it's lighter than the Peridot. It's a lot lighter. But this is perfect. And then I could make another thing on the top since it's all green. And I put something else at the top. We'll see. Oh, th these brush in so easy. Hey, Fab. Oh, that might work, Karen. I may have to try that. Like, just well, press it lightly, like a light press on it. Kind of remove some of that static. All right. We are in business. 
we're almost done with this, at least. So we're going to have to do our chrysolite. I'm going to try to make that as painless as possible. All right. I need to put this back inside of the container and then we're going to move on. I am missing one last skip. And then we have one more part of the template to brush in and then we're going to be done. Everything up to flip upside down like really did. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the eve. I do have some there. So you just lightly run your finger over the design. That helps to move any stones that might be overlapping out of the way. So, what color do I want to do for the word clay? I think I might go with like a fuchsia. I think we may do fuchsia for pain. That might look good. We're not always put the green to the pinks together. Let me see. I did show you guys olivine. Olivine, I love olivine too. It's pretty. How much work to do? I'm procrastinating. Delonda, get your work done, girl. That's how I was this weekend. A research project for Delonda. Y'all know Delonda is the head researcher. All right, let me get this other, and let me see what color we're going to do the word queen. Hey, Marla, welcome in. Anybody that I miss, sorry, y'all, another piece of new tape. Anybody else that I missed, I am sorry, I'm going to see, but hey, everybody. All right, let's hope this works. <sighs> Now my anxiety is acting up because that happened. And so I'm like thinking, oh no, they're all gonna flip now. So let me get a positive mindset really quick. This is gonna work out, Patrice. All right, let's get ready. All right, it worked out this time. Thank you. I'm just using my hands. And let's go. I'm gonna get. We have one more part to brush in, and then we're done with this. We just we have a little bit of manual placement that we need to do. All right, that one's done. That's the bottom. We're gonna put this over here, and then I need to pick another color. Um. We have the oh, the green. Maybe let's do rose gold. We'll do rose gold. I think rose gold with the greens will look good. It's dark enough, um, and it's a different type of stone. It's a metal stone, so I don't know where is it. So I think that's gonna look really good. So we're just gonna do queen right there. Hey, Lynetta, welcome. All right, so I'm just going to put this here, and we'll do the rose gold. That's That was way too many stones.
right y'all that was really really quick There's one extra one here. All right, but for the most part, that's all done, and we can get ready to start brushing. She want me to use a purple stone? <laughs> the green with the purple? That's very Mardi gras -ish. Very no love. I need to make me a Nola shirt. Pip, are you still here? Did you find us hotels? All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and we are done with this one, but I am going to keep the crystal light out because I need to place them inside. All right, y'all. We are pretty much ready to go. Um... I may need to get another piece because this may be too small. Yep, that's going to be too small. Oh. I do have another piece. Hold on, y'all. I need to get that. I use this. All right, so this, this piece is pretty large, but it's nice and used. We're just going to drop it down, press, and then lift it back up. So the next buy-in is starting on, on Friday. On Friday. So y'all know I'm already going to be talking about it. But the next plan starts on Friday. All right. I did get an oversized piece of transfer tape. You don't really want your transfer tape to be much larger than your template, especially if it's going to extend past the, the flock. So you don't, that's not what you want. Thanks, Jesse. All right, so that's what we got there. All right, let's get ready to press. Let me um, let me do. What shirt do I want to put this on? I still have a shirt that I need to do. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna be making me another shirt. Making. Another one. All right, I'm gonna make a medium shirt, but the medium shirt I'll probably give away. So let's see. All right, I'm just pre-pressing the shirt, like rolling, pre-pressing, that sort of thing. I don't have the camera over here today. So I'm just pre-pressing for about five, five to eight seconds. All right, so let's get ready to press. All right, y'all, so this is a medium shirt, so you'll see how it's going to look on, you know, the sizing. I think it's a little over maybe 11 inches wide. I'm not sure, but we'll see. All right, so here is our shirt. All right, so next, we're just going to put this here. All right, and press that it's a full time for each piece. So P. Haddon, you don't have to. Typically, I usually do like maybe 10 seconds for each, and then the final press, I'll do it for the entire time. Um, that's what I usually do. But lately, I've just been letting it run just because I talk a lot. So that's really why. All right, so we're gonna press that. Okay. 
Okay. I'm excited to see how this is gonna come out. So the SS10 one looks pretty good. Um, I'm excited to see how this is gonna look. <gasps> Mixes have been updated. All right, we have. So I'll check out now. So this one I let go for about 15 seconds. All right, so we're gonna unveil that. All right, so I did have one that was upside down somewhere. I don't see where it was. All right, but nonetheless, it looks good. Let's go ahead and place the top layer on it. And this is the top layer, that layer that I kind of got them all over the place. All right, let's press. All right, so this is the pear dot is the outer layer, and then the inside layer is the uh, chrysolite. So we're going to see how that is going to look. I have so many stones right here. So when I take this off, I'm going to have to manually place them. All right, so let's go ahead and press. I should have did the crystal light for the, for the outline, now that I look at it, but it's gonna be fine. We're gonna press this for about 10 seconds. And that's 10 seconds. And now we are ready to Move that out of the way. Uh oh. So look at all the ones that are upside down. So let's see if I could just take them off of here. And remember, to wait for the cool down some. I gotta manually place some of these on y'all. So I want to do that now when I put place the other um, transfer down. Uh-oh. Right, give me a few seconds, y'all. I'm going to use the same tape. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right. These stones are sticking real nicely to this. Transfer tape. All right, we're all good now. All right, so I'm just going to place a few on the side. I should have put it on the shirt and did it from there. So I don't know if this is where these stones go, but this is where they're going to go for us today. Just so we can hurry up and get that out of the way. So I'm just manually placing them on the shirt. And then when I press the other part, I'm just going to apply a piece of transfer tape on top to hold them in place on the shirt. And I bet you I'm putting more stones than I'm supposed to have there. But that's okay. No, were there stones that was supposed to be here? Might be. I think so. I think I overdid it with the stone show. I think I overdid it. So this design, I didn't really... Um, I usually like to do edge to edge. And I like to do edge to edge because it's so much easier to layer it that way. Um, but I did it this time. And so I placed it like I was doing it edge to edge. So that's... A, I'm not happy about that, but it's all good. So let's go ahead and lay these down. All right, so we're going to layer this now. 
And I am just trying to, uh oh, I was trying to avoid getting them on here, but we made it. And that's fine. All right, so I do have missing stones right there. So I'm going to go ahead and press this one just like this for now. And then once I press, do the word clean on there, we'll then change it. So then I'm just going to put that there. That will help them stick. And now we're going to go press the bottom part. Right. let's go and then let me take out a few more crystal lights what does Sandra do <laughs> oh I can't <laughs> not in the kids today mm -mm. Girl, that's a whole hot mess. <laughs> a whole entire hot mess. All right, so the top part is down. Uh oh, y'all can't even see that good. I was trying not to mess up the stones I have. So the top part is down. And then now we have the bottom. And so I am going to, all right, so this is what we have so far. Now we're going to take the rose gold and I am going to place the rose gold here. But I need to place some of the stones manually. Uh-uh, not the job. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can line this up how it's supposed to go. All right, so I think that goes like that. Just down just a little bit. Oh, yeah, I can see that. All right, so, so far, okay. Um, it's more spacing than I like. But, and I see where I'm missing a paradox right there. So, I am going to hold this down. Let me get a paradox. So, I'm going to paradox. Oh, y'all, I put my paradox over there and I didn't even put a, um, a, a rubber band around it. What is going on with me? Uh -uh. Let me get my rubber band. That was not correct. All right. So I'm just going to bring that down. And now we will perform surgery. All right. So a pair of that still needs to go there. Then we're going to place some stones here. And then we shall see it. Thanks, Veronica. Eve, a new color. <laughs> I want to know the new colors too. Whatever colors they, they are, I'm sure they're going to be beautiful. Eve vets her stones, like literally vets her stones. So I know it's going to be amazing. And if it's not, guess what? She might share with us like she did those um, traffic cone stones. I haven't used those yet. Has anyone used their traffic cone stones? Here, let 
No, but if you use the Jack of Cone Stones. Nope, not yet. <laughs> We're gonna put here on Sunday. Where is that going, y'all? Because I'm not being nosy. I think that's good enough. We're good. I can put those crystal lights up. And so now, let me be careful. Even though there's an olive ring that should go there, but I'm not gonna worry about the olive ring. And then I'm just going to lay it down on top. And so I can go and press this now. But let me put these up. Oh, we had a question. What was the question? <laughs> what was the what was the question? I missed it. Hold on, let's try it. Let me put this on. Hold on, let's see. What was the what was the question? Let me go up. Hold on. <laughs> Is there enough stones in the SS6 chip? For oh, yeah, there's more than enough stones in the SS6 chip. Yeah, you can get at least two, two designs with some left over, at least large designs. If you're not going to use large designs, like if you're going to have smaller designs, you can get quite a few um, uses out of that. Definitely. You definitely can. Okay. This is what we have. This is okay. I like it. All right, let me. Even though we had to do a little surgery, it was still okay. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, and then I gotta. Uh, so now I have new. Uh oh. I got a stone here, but I could get it off. I have a stone on a shirt that pressed in. And it would not be the right way, but. So this is what for a junior bling duchess design. <laughs> you have enough stones for a junior bling duchess design, yes. <laughs> no worries, Sandra. I think these actually this actually turned out pretty good. All right, so we're gonna look at it from the other camera. So both designs will be listed in my Etsy shop. I'll try to get to it tonight, but I have a few DTF shirts that I need to make um, before I get a chance to get back to the computer and do it. So let me thank you, Valerie. I'm not qualified to wear that. <laughs> you need a Duchess shirt, <laughs> Delanda. Hold on, let me remove. Didn't see we need to see some pictures of it. You could have been recording something. All right, y'all. And this is a medium shirt, so the design fits nicely on the medium shirt. If I could, did I do it upside down? Okay, not bad. I like it. I like the greens together. They look pretty good. I think I like it. I do. So I was a little bit worried when I added the word queen to it because I didn't really want queen to be like at the bottom of it. And I was a little bit worried how it would look and if it would take out too much of the diamond. Y'all can't tell that this is a diamond, right? Please tell me that you can tell that it's a diamond. But not too bad. And then you have the chrysolite at the top, the olivine at the bottom, and then the peridot around the, the outline. Okay, not bad. Let me go. Thanks, y'all. Y'all know I got to switch the camera. Y'all know I got to switch it. So we're going to actually give this away. Hopefully, I'll be able to... Um, there's one one stone that made its way down to the bottom. But yeah, oh, oh, oh. 
I don't know if I want to give this shirt away anymore. I can, I can squeeze into it. I always get myself. There's always shirts that I love. And then I'd be like, yeah, I'm not going to like it. And then I said, I'm going to give it away. But y'all look, look at these stones. Look at that chrysolite at the top. Oh. Y'all. And then you have that outline around it. The outline is peridot. The outline is peridot. The top part is chrysolite. And the bottom is olivine. <laughs> Y'all, look how this doesn't make any sense. This does not make any sense at all. All right. I wasn't sure at first, but I'm kind of sure. So the part that I don't like, so I, if you press this shirt, if you get this design and you press it, don't line it up to the very top. So typically with my designs, you just line it up to the very top. You could just line it up centered. I forgot that with the SS6 stones, I still use the same spacing as the SS10. And so it kind of looks like, you know, there's space here where there could be stones. Just don't flush it all the way up to the top. But this turned out amazing. I love it. It looks gorgeous. All right, so this is our bling shirt. It's not the other design that's inside of my shop or on my website doesn't have the word queen in it. Um, and that's SS10. This is SS6. I might add SS, I might add the queen to the SS10. I'm not sure, but y'all look, this doesn't make any sense. Eve, why are your stones like this? You need to stop. Like, this is not good. Looks beautiful. Let me show you the other shirt before I switch over to the other camera. And then I gotta go. I, I, I have some actual work that I need to do. And y'all know I can play with y'all all night. We could be up here. I could pull out a whole nother bling design and we could bling that. I'm not gonna do it. So then we have this shirt. Goes with my Oso oh collection. And so this one just says, oh, so saved. And y'all, look at these metal light stones. Look at these metal light stones. <laughs> Don't want to. You are a hot mess. Looks so gorgeous. So this shirt isn't being given away, but we're going to do a quick giveaway for the bling queen shirt because all of y'all are some bling queens. But y'all, look how look at these metal light stones. This doesn't make any sense. Imagine walking in the sun with the sun. Well, I don't know if you guys have a lot of sun. We have a lot of sun, so the stones are blinding in the sun. Oh, so hungry! <laughs> I can't. But these are the metal lights. So the metal lights. If you look closely, let me see if I could get it to stop lighting because it's metal lighting. I can't, but it's you see the red and then the bottom, you see the black. But when you kind of turn it, you just see the gold. You see a whole bunch of gold on there. And that gold is sparkling and lighting up. So these are the metal light stones. These are Eve's newest stones um that she has and they are awesome and this isn't these aren't up yet on the website all right y'all so we are done let me go ahead and open up the giveaway tool and we will give away the uh the the bling queen shirt so that's the one that that, that we're going to be giving away this one and I really like it. I intended on making one for me tonight. And this is a medium shirt, so it's not too big for a medium shirt. Because I know sometimes my designs are a little large. Um, I like big bling. So, but this one isn't too, too big. I think it's a good size. So we're going to give this away. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my thumb ready. Let me. 
you are a hot mess. Let me turn, let me open up the giveaway tool. Dream yard. Where is it? It usually pops up at me right away, but it didn't today. All right. Giveaway. And then we are done for the night. Um, here it is. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Okay, here it is. All right, what are we going to use? What word are we going to use? I would say bling, but you guys have been using bling all night, I'm sure. Um, the word that we're going to use is going to be... Let's just say <laughs> queen. No, no, no. We're not going to say queen. Sparkle. Thank you, Valerie. Let's just say sparkle. Sparkle is going to be the word. Let me share it. I don't know. I'm just like over, overthinking everything. So it's going to be sparkle. Let's see. Share screen. Uh, Delanda, I see your sparkle. I see your sparkle. <laughs> Let me type it in. All right, so S P A R K L E. Doesn't matter um, if it's upper or lower case, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I'll give you guys a few minutes. I love it. <laughs> but this actually came, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. And so the bottom, I don't think I remember to say it, but the bottom was uh, rose gold. And these are all SS6 stones in this design. My lineup game was not on point, but I completely forgot. I might have to add some extra stones around the, the outer part. But it looks good. It's fine, actually. All right, I'm gonna give a few more minutes. And so let me put my email address in the chat. Um, if you win, just send me an email with your name and your address. It's gonna be a lot easier for me this time because this is the only shirt that I'm giving away. So, that's going to be easy. That's my email address at the bottom, patrice at craftablethings.com. Yo, I've been working. I haven't even drank my tea. My ice has melted. Got one little piece of ice floating around in my cup. Mm -mm. All right, so we have... Let's see, we have 86 entries. The word is sparkle. And we are going to get ready to spin it again. This is a medium shirt. I don't know if I said it again, but this is a medium shirt. You guys kind of looked out because I need a large shirt. So oh, I really like it though. It has my greens in it. All right, we're gonna get ready to click draw. We have 92 entries. Let's get ready to click draw and see who wins. Let me get my bell. Karen, congratulations! Congratulations, Karen. Uh, blink queen. Let me stop sharing that screen. Congratulations. All right, y'all. Karen has won tonight's shirt. And that is awesome. And if you are just catching it, this is the shirt that Karen won. It says blink queen on it. And I like it, actually. 
I had to think about it, but I do like it. So, yeah. I missed another. Somebody else. I think it was Don's World. I saw it, and then I forgot to call. I was pressing the shirt. Thank you, Don. Evie, free brush for research. <laughs> free brush for research purposes. Thank you, Evie. You guys are so funny. I love y'all. I love hanging out with y'all on Tuesdays, Fridays, Thursdays, any days that we get a chance to hang out. I absolutely love it. Any day is my favorite day. Karen sharing is <laughs> Y'all, why is the <laughs> Karen Karen? <laughs> so I'm gonna make you I'm gonna make you a medium a medium shirt like that. No, 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 I'm not. I'm going Do you have SS6 stones? Do you have SS6 stones or you only have SS10? <laughs> hot mess. Hot mess. Hot mess. I got you, Delonda. I got I got I got a shirt for you. I do. It's going by in right now. Oh, Evie, Miss Becky's asking. Oh, you have. I'm about to send you this design. You got you you can you can make it. You you can make it. Research and let me know what you think. She is a hot mess. She's a hot mess. A hot mess. I thought I was a hot mess. I'm not. Well, I am, but I she's a hot mess. So by now and by in. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I got you, Delonta. I'm sorry, Miss Sharon Davenport. The giveaway is done. I'm sorry. All right, y'all. My heat press is still on because I got to go and press a few shirts. So it has been fun. It is always fun. Always a pleasure. What? Why are you guys <laughs> typing sparkle in, in the comments? I'm not starting over, Delonta. I'm not starting over. <laughs> Y'all are a hot mess. A hot mess. I cannot. We are not starting over. So, Karen, congratulations. I am going to send you the shirt. Send me your... <laughs> Karen said, look... Karen said, Delonda, it's over. It's done. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> and then she gonna put here sparkling and shine. You guys are, you guys are a hot mess. And I love every second of it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight and testing these designs. I am going to put the designs inside of either Etsy or my website. It's definitely going to go on my website, but I may put it on both or in both. So look out for it. And yeah, Friday, we're going to be blinking some more. I think, I don't know if Marilyn wants to hang out with us on Thursday. Um, so maybe we'll hang out on Thursday. I'm not sure, but it has been fun. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love y'all. I hope your week has been going great again. Miss Carol, I know you're probably gone to work already. Congratulations again on the good report from the doctor. And yeah, that's, that's it. I love y'all. See y'all on Friday.